Hey guys, how are you? In today's video, my brother and I replaced the humidifier pots out of two Nortec Condair industrial steam humidifiers inside of a, a room that has a massive HP printing machine at a packaging factory. Starting our day off at the supplier, grabbing what we need for the day, a couple of humidifier pots, and heading out. When we arrive, we usually say hi to the maintenance guys and then grab a ladder and then head on through the facility. And I usually follow my dad or my brother through here because I still get lost. This place is massive. Got to watch out for forklifts. These two humidifiers are in their own room, actually. They're in an environmentally controlled room with this big printer. Usually someone's working in here, but today there was nobody, so we let ourselves in. And that is the printing machine. What I love so much about this job is that there are two humidifiers, so <laughs> my brother gets to do one and I get to do one. We don't have to fight. So we're just getting the first one started here. Trev takes off the panel. And then here's the old humidifier. It's so gross. It's a yellow color, whereas the new one is so beautiful and white. And it comes with a little gasket on the side that I'll show you later. Thank you, Trev. Just want to look through there. But I look directly at the camera. That's so stupid. <laughs> so with the new pot, it's a trick of the trade to add a little package of iodized table salts. And this is supposed to help the conductivity of the water inside the pot. These humidifiers don't actually have heaters inside of them. They've got two electrodes that are immersed in water. And those electrodes are connected to live and neutral. And the water that they're submersed in actually conducts the electricity that they need and sometimes fresh water just doesn't have enough conductivity so we add this table salt there was a bit of a discussion on my instagram about this because apparently this little trick of the trade has been debunked we don't need to add table salt anymore but anyway so the new pot is in place Trevor's unit had this little belly band to hold his, his in place, but mine was busted. And we'll let that pot fill up while I'm changing mine. Oh, look, it's already full. <laughs> the magic of movies, right? Now it's my turn. I get to change my humidifier pot. I get to do the exact same thing that Trevor did on his. Step one is to always make sure that the humidifier pot is empty before you start doing anything. There's scalding hot water inside there and if you disconnect everything, it could all land on you. So empty the pot and then turn the unit off. There are three color-coded wires on the top. You just have to disconnect those from their terminals. I'm making it look a lot dif more difficult than it is. You just have okay. to pull them off. And then you can undo the hose clamp. And then you can pull, pull it off. There we go. And then you can pull the whole pot out. Ta-da! I love this 360 camera. So this is inside the old Ooh. pot. That is so oh, that's foul. Crazy. Wow. I'll show you a clean one in a little sec. Ugh. Yep, that's definitely fouled in there. So here's that little gasket I showed you at the beginning. Just pull the old one out. Here's the new one. So exciting. <laughs> it just fits right in its groove. Like that.
Okay, now it's time for the new pot. Oh, so we did the same thing with the iodized table salt. Obviously, this was before I had the discussion on Instagram about this little trick of the trade being debunked. So we did it on both of them. And honestly, I think I'll still keep doing it. Here's inside the clean pot. Look at that. Crazy compared oh, to the old one. So nasty. All right, we'll get the new pot in place. We found some plastic stuff on there. Just clean that off, make it nice and clean. And then put the new pot in. To install it, it's just backwards of uninstalling it. Just got to use your muscles, girl. Get that hose on there. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Now I can tighten that hose clamp. Perfect. And then connect all of your wires. You got a black wire, a red wire, and a yellow. Ta-da! Make sure everything yeah. is properly secured. Looks good. Bam. <laughs> now the pot will fill with water. It'll just keep filling and filling. It'll tell you that it's filling. Right there. It's kind of slow. And then once it's done, it'll start humidifying. Just like that. And it shows you on the left hand side how much it is humidifying well i hope you found that interesting um hopefully you learned something today and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye so is about no it's not about anything norte condes okay cool that's a handful a mouthful fuck Thank <laughs> you.